Welcome to another episode of All Base Creations, Effects, Tutorials, Demos, and Reviews. Today we have up the DOD Meat Box Sub Synth. And of course, it's a you know one of the staples, legendary octave pedal, um, known to tear up speakers. So um, you know, caution with your speakers. You know, you're definitely gonna need headphones or earphones for this. Um, please make sure you like and subscribe this video. Um, you know, like the video subscribe to my channel and all that good stuff i definitely would appreciate it um the base niggas at the base n-e-g-u-s so let's go <laughs> personal setting um that i'm you know i personally like um but you know this is actually how my bass sounds dry <laughs> The amount of bass that this thing puts out is ridiculous. Um, all my pedals up here can put out a good amount of bass. Like I have a, a OC5 subbing up here. I got a, a Hog 2. I got a Poly Blue Octave. Um, but this one gives you, you know, an uncontrollable amount of bass at times, you know. So I definitely say, you know, you want to use a limiter with it or a compressor or something to that effect. But, you know, it's got some basic controls here, you know, basic layout, input, output, um, true bypass as well. You get lows and you get subs. Um, you also get an octave, you know, that's pretty much the blend between dry, dry being all the way counterclockwise and, um, you know, completely wet being clockwise. So um, then you got your volume knob there. So, as you can see, I got everything kind of about, you know, it's about 75%, about what's, I don't know, 65%, you know, somewhere around there. So, let's, let's, let's hear what just the sub and low sound like together. <laughs> Thank you. 
just kind of like EQ boost um, this is like a high low you know like a just like a regular low like a I'm thinking around somewhere around a hundred Thinking the sub is somewhere around forty. Yeah, the sub is around forty hertz. So you know, um, with, I'm comparing that to my bass because my bass um, cuts and boosts at um, on the bass knob cuts and boosts at forty um, hertz and at uh, plus or minus 18 dB. So, so there's a lot of, lot of flexibility within there by itself. You know, thing I like about this pedal, you know, I can kind of keep it in this little setting like this. Oh, let's go to the octave by itself. See what that sounds like. So it doesn't particularly track well in the lower register of the bass. Um, I would say out of all the pedals, it has the worst tracking. Definitely the DOD has the worst tracking out of all of them. Only thing saving it is the sub, the sub feel to it. It's like, you know, it's not even something you use all the time. To be honest, just being real. <laughs> Thank you. 
sound of it you know you can also uh let me see something here let me bring the volume cut the amp for a second It's a great tool, you know, it could be used for a lot of different sounds. Let's see what we got here. We're going to add a little big pressure. some of the tracking issues to add vibrato um how i naturally do it without adding tracking issues so i do it this one plus i like always like the mod wheel um you know uh, in my head i'm always like this you know on on the mod wheel on the keyboard you know what i'm saying Thank you. 
bit more compression to that. So, you know, you start adding phasers and stuff like that, or bass synths and other, other bass synths to it. so much bottom there it's just ridiculous um but yeah you know you can add any number of effects to that you know and you know even effects like the bass balls who usually you know the the bases when you add the bass balls you usually have to add more bottom afterwards this thing has so much bottom you don't even have to worry about it so you know the main thing i like to balance is that bottom when um <laughs> So because when I'm using something like this, it may not be necessarily, I'm not necessarily looking for this pedal to be the most audible pedal more than I feel like it's more, it's going to be more felt, you know, it, it's something that you don't, um, you won't notice right away in a song, you know, if you're in a, a festival, of course you'll notice that a song, you'll be like, man, that's a lot of bass coming, you know, but at the same time it's just like it should be under because you own one too much bass there's no clarity and there's a lot of things missing when there's no uh anything but bass so um you know you definitely want the audience not to miss you know what you're doing you know so you can't do any runs or anything without a good amount of um you know mid-range uh you know in there so they can audibly Distinguish each note, you know, so for comparison Of course, you know, I like to do comparisons in all my videos and as well in addition to the you know showing you guys things the pedal with other pedals <laughs> That's the poly blue. Oh man. That's the poly blue. Uh, one octave down. Here's the hog two in my usual synth uh, one octave down setting. You know, that compared to It's my bass dry, hog two. It's almost like, you know, as much as I want to make an excuse to keep the meat box or to, to like the meat box, it's like, I, I 
just don't know about it. I can't say that I honestly would recommend that you get a meat box. Like, I, I can't, you know, I know a lot of guys swear by them, you know, but a lot of those guys also don't have a lot of these pedals. They might have one of these pedals. They definitely don't. A lot of them don't use a hog too on a regular like I do. And, you know, let's let's do some more A-B. So it's just, it's just, this gives me, I can get as much booty out of other pedals or as much necessary booty because this is overkill in a lot of cases. And you can't really dial in exactly something that's, you know, sexy. Like, I like my synth bass to be sexy. This ain't nothing sexy about this pedal. Like, the tracking is, is, isn't smooth. Nothing, nothing about it screams, like, my personality playing-wise. I can see why some guys would like it back in the day when things, none of these other pedals were available. But now it's like it's things that are, you know, I pay, it's 80 bucks compared to um, 200. Um, the sub and up is 200. The OC5 is like 150. And these were like four or something when I got them, five something when you get the, um, because I got the, the preset pedal with it the hog 2 i'm talking about so you know considering all things it is the cheapest out of the bunch but it also performs the cheapest and it's exactly only one sound i can use on it so i don't know what to say about it to be honest with you let's do some more a b so this would be this would be the sub and up. for like that straight bottom you know these other pedals they giving me a lot of booty too like all of them give you a lot of booty like i can get a lot of booty out the oc2 you know the oc5 you know even in poly mode i can just put it in poly mode and get plenty of booty <laughs> so you guys can just kind of well you guys don't need I think you guys are getting the point of how much booty each one has <laughs> Just straight octave down. Sounds like garbage. Without the regular, without the dry signal, it sounds like garbage. And it's like you're only really getting the benefit of the longer notes. The rest of them is pretty much missing. I'm doing this 
there's no definition to it as in, you know, without the drastic. So I can't all I can't get all the way to the synth sound that I would like to get with it. So I mean, I guess I could use it in conjunction with another synth. It just uh, it's not my thing. It's just not my thing. I don't know if I'm going to keep it, to be honest with you. It doesn't really strike me as, like, useful. Like, and it's like the amount of bass it puts out is eventually going to destroy one of your setups, one of your rigs, one of your bass amps, um, uh, PA speakers or monitors. It's just, yes, is that, oh, is, I don't know why people want to, why would you want something that would destroy e Equipment that's meant for you to be heard that's mad weird to me so I don't understand why this pedal is so popular but you know you don't really need it like I guess you could add it to the OC2 type of sound like say say you didn't have all these controls and stuff and you know you just kind of stuck with them. that's a use this is without it with it oh we might have found a little hat you know we might be using this for other simps put so much on it. subbing up will sound like you know it's not a bad sound by itself but you know with it is it's adding a little something there that's the poly blue I mean, just to be honest with you, I could use an EQ on my MS60B and, and get similar results. Or I could do, you know, run things through the hog and get similar results. It's just, it's a lot that I could do other than buy this $80 pedal um, that does one thing. And it, and it, to me, it does it. Does it do it that way? Does it good? It doesn't do it great. doesn't do it bad. It does it good. Okay, so it doesn't, you know, it doesn't, it's not something I think I'm going to keep. But, you know, I think it's worth checking out. I'm glad I checked it out to see if it was for me, you know. Um, you know, and I, I don't ever just review these pedals. I always, um, I keep them. Uh, I get them, you know, I buy them because I like the pedal. And I'm trying it out. And I'm doing reviews about it. And, but. I always wait a week after I purchase it and then do a review. That way I've had plenty of time with the pedal, see what it does, 
see the capability, see what I like about it, see what I don't like about it, give it a chance, basically. You know, and in a week's time after I played through it all those hours, if I don't find nothing useful for it, it's like, eh, hey, forget it. You know, it's not a, it's not what I need. So, and that's the feeling I'm getting from the DOD. It's actually the first pedal I'm ever reviewing that I'm, I'm not giving it a bad review, but I'm not giving it a great review either. Like, usually, you know, um, when I see pedals I like, I, I grab them and, um, I know enough about pedals where I could, you know, from videos or whatever the case, I can find out if it's something that is worth me reviewing. I kind of let some of my, um, some of my favorite bass, other, you know, favorite bassists, you know, kind of talk me into this one. I'm not really feeling it. Um, not really feeling it. <laughs> so... I mean, that's pretty much it. I can't really say that any much, any other way. He has one sound that I can use, and that's the one I showed you guys. Other than that, I don't really like it. Um, too much bass or too little bass. Um, it's too difficult to dial in exactly to the right spot, and it doesn't track that well. And it doesn't have enough options where I can fix any of these things, you know, to make them better. So, um, you know, I would say try it out. Um, just be careful. Don't let it ruin your rig. You know, start out with this volume down low because it will tear up your rig if you go trying to do the, uh, with everybody else settings. This the setting everybody use, you know, type thing, you know, pretty much. You know, so let me see. It's like, what are you going to do? How, how are you going to use this pedal when you have a, a, a combo, a 210 combo, for instance? It's like, is your 210 combo going to accurately push all of that throughout a whole room? No, it's not. And the, your normal gig, they're never going to hear any of that low end. They're never going to feel it because your mo most, most, your average gig, for most musicians, is they use a combo amps, two tens, four tens, a fifteen. Do you really want to like try to push this much bottom through? And it's like really low bottom sometimes. It's like it, you can, the speaker is. It's not even really audible. It's just like the speaker is just moving. You can just hear the speaker moving type thing. So, I would say, try it out. You know, it's only eighty bucks, but you know, could you spend that eighty bucks better? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you can get your baseball for eighty bucks. You know, um, these are only like uh these MS60B is only like a hundred bucks, hundred twenty dollars. You know, um, I would say if you're looking for a dedicated octave pedal that does it all, that's just one pedal. Um, the king is still the hog too. But um, you can also, you got other options of different types of sounds with the, the Poly Blue is, is definitely one of my favorites right now. It sounded amazing. You know, I I I didn't think I would like it this much. And I love it. You know, I, I, the subbing up has kind of grown on me with that sound. But that's kind of a one-trick pony too, to be real. And the OC5 is a great pedal as well. It's definitely staying on the pedal board. So... Um, only three that are safe right now is the OC5, the Hog 2, and the Poly Blue Octave, the, uh, the DOD Meatbox Sub Synth, and the Sub, Subbing Up, a little, uh, I'm on the fence about, so, you know, definitely, um, subscribe, like, and share, and, um, let me know what y'all want me to review next, you know, I'm running out of ideas, I've been doing videos, I need you guys to really, Press that like button, get them likes up, make sure that, you know, don't leave me hanging. You know, I'm trying to do my best to go through these pedals and, and show you them with different pedals and all that good stuff. So, um, definitely, uh, you know, help me out here. You know, this has been another all bass creations, effects, tutorials, demos, and reviews. This is the Bass Negus. Um, you can find me at the Bass Negus, N-E-G-U-S on all social media, and I'll catch you guys next time. All right, peace.